Hello, so today we're going to learn about how the water, proteins, um, lipids, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals all come together to make meat. Um, water consists of about 70 to 75 percent of the meat's composition. Uh, proteins are about 19 to 21 percent. Lipids are very variable. They can range anywhere from 1 percent to 13 percent. And carbohydrates are about 1 percent where um, vitamins and minerals are about 0.65 to 1 percent. Um, for skeletal muscles, which is a major source of protein, um, they can be um, divided up into various subgroups. The myofibular proteins, which um, make up the majority of skeletal muscle proteins, um, are divided to myosin and actin. Now, myosin and, um, and actin are the two contractile proteins in your muscles. So myosin is the very thick filament, whereas actin is the thin filament. Myosin is the most abundant muscle protein. It outnumbers actin three to one. So three myosins to one actin. Uh, myosin is the protein that can split ATP to ADP. And the energy that it gains by doing that um, is used for uh, muscle contractions. Um, it's highly charged, um, and, but the polarity is what allows this for the assembly of that thick filament. Um, the actin has two different forms, um, the globular form and the fibrous form. The fibrous form is formed when um, two globular uh, actin molecules go head to tail and they form a thin strand. So that is how the myosin and actin are formed. Um, other types of skeletal muscle proteins is uh, the sarcoplasmic proteins, which are about 30%. They are in the myoglobin of the meat, which uh, we'll talk about a little bit later, and in the cytoplasm, cytoplasm enzymes. Um, the sternal proteins, which are 10 to 20% and mostly made up of collagen, um, they have a very large role in the uh, tenderness or toughness of the meat. So um, they're the connective tissues and they're not nutritionally good for, they're not nutritionally balanced for us at all because they lack tryptophan and cysteine, which are two of the very important amino acids that we get from meat. Um, the interchain cross bonds uh, increase with the age of the animal. So that means that as you get older, the uh, your collagen just grows and more and more of these cross bonds which makes your collagen tougher therefore the meat tougher and that is why we like younger animals for slaughter rather than the older animals with the tougher meat um, we also have non-protein nitrogens uh, which mainly our main concern is the creatine because it is a big energy storage in the muscle um, as for the fats again most variable 1 to 13 percent. Um, they it plays a really big role in flavor and just overall quality of the meat and customer perception of quality of the meat because like when you look at a big steak and it has like that great mar mar marbling of the intermuscular fat, the customer knows that that's a, that is a good slice of meat. Um, but obviously that's not true for the leaner meats like your poultry. Um, Lean meat has only about 5% visible fat when it's trimmed, um, but there's also cholesterol to be considered, which is in the uh, cellular membranes of all of the muscles, and that also contributes to that um, gross fat percentage of um, composition. Now for the carbohydrates, 1% doesn't sound like a lot, and I know that, but it's actually very important, it plays a very important role because the um, Carbohydrate is glycogen, and it plays a major role in rigor mortis because during it, glycogen is used during your daily activities. It helps run your muscles, and it also helps when you're stressed. When you're stressed, it converts itself, and it use it depletes your glycogen storages. So you try to keep the animal very de-stress before slaughter because if they use up the glycogen, it cannot be converted to lactic acid, which helps with rigor mortis. And the lactic acid will build up and lower the pH of the overall meat. So if the pH of the overall meat is too uh, high, it's just it delivers a different color and just a le less desirable product 
for the consumer. Um, so if you can look at the picture, look at the picture you can see that um, vitamins and minerals again only 0.65 percent to 1 percent um, of the total composition but it's you can get a significant source of your uh, B complex vitamins not so much your vitamin C but for minerals you can get a lot of your uh, potassium you can also get um, phosphorus magnesium and sodium um, that's kind of relatively consistent across all species. Um, iron, however, will vary in species. Different, like the cow will have more iron than the chickens. Um, and it also varies on it, depending on your age, the animal's age and the animal's nutrition and what cut of meat you're using from the animal.